Hi everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Blackwell Deception, the fourth and final part in the Blackwell series. I just finished number three in the Blackwell series, Blackwell Convergence, and I'm just rolling right into this one. I have high hopes for it. As I've discussed previously, the games continuously get better. But nonetheless, I still found them frustrating from the first one to the last one I played, number three. Especially in the puzzle area, they tend to be very frustrating sometimes. There's large areas where it's perfectly fine, it's great, everything's going nice, and then you just slam right into a wall. So given that they've continuously improved, I'm really hoping that sort of thing doesn't exist in this game. So that's my high hopes for it. And, well, some of my other hopes have already been fulfilled. Because as I'm looking at this menu, I'm realizing something. I'm pretty sure this game is running in twice the resolution that it did before. And I'm talking about its native res, not the resolution I'm running it at, which is two times its native res right now. I'm pretty sure this is about double. Because there is a crap load more detail in the menu. And the pictures and everything. It is obviously a ton more detail than there were than there was previously. And it looks really amazing in the menu. So we'll see what it looks like in game, but I have a good feeling about this. And I had a good feeling about the last game, and it mostly paid off in the last game. We'll see what this one does. Also, I'd like to take my hat off to the developers for creating a series whose main character is redheaded and, at least in three out of the four games, wears glasses. Thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my p uh, heart. <clears throat> New game. I'm going to read this. If you'd like to read along, go ahead. Huh. So it would look like that, uh, it would seem that Rosangela Blackwell, Rosa, started her online, uh, what would you call it, ghost hunting business? That's not really ghost hunting. What would you call that? Exorcism? No. I don't know what that business is called. I'll just say her mediumship business. It looks like she has started it. So this should be interesting. I wonder how her business has gone. Hello? Anybody here? Oh my We're god, look at the detail. Aboard. Coming aboard? What would you say? Not that. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. It almost looks like the game... Like the backgrounds, the characters and everything, the main game is at the same resolution that it was at before, but the pop-ups are at double the resolution? Is that what I'm seeing? I'm not quite sure. But the, all the sprites, the character and the backgrounds, that, those seem to be the same resolution. But the character pop-up things seem to be better. What's that say? If it says anything, I can't see it from this angle. Aha. Uh -huh. Tab key? Oh, I'll just click. What's it say, Joey? Float out there, man. It says Ryan and June? Guess it's some couple. Hmm. Oh, his abilities are listed <laughs> in his uh, inventory. That's handy. I have a dime and a business card. I got oh. these business cards made up a few months ago. They glow in the dark. It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, Rosa. That is pretty cool, actually. I'd like to see it glow in the dark. Spiritual Consultant. Okay, that's... That's her profession name. Spiritual Consultant. So I think the... I think some parts of this are in double resolution? I, it's hard to tell. Where would they be? In here? 
The owners of the boat, I mean, or owner. No, it's own. Excuse me, owner. Creepy. Just our kind of place. So, can I see my business card glowing in the dark now? Aww. I got these business cards made up a few months ago. They glow in the dark. It's so cool. Oh, I wanted to see it glow in the dark. It's dark. I can't see a thing in here. So, you're gonna complain? You're gonna do something about it? Yeah, I want you to do something about it, Rosa. Question mark, question mark. I'm pretty sure that's a... I'm pretty sure that's a new invention called the light switch. Give it a shot. Oh, my God. Anybody here? Hmm. Hola. Anything? Nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? We have We're detached. Moving. Yeah, I noticed. There's nobody on board but us. Yeah, I noticed that too. So we've definitely got a ghost. Yep. Yeah, we do. Got a ghost that doesn't like rope. They have something against rope. Gap. Look at that gap. Rosa, what do you think about that gap? I'm not jumping into the Hudson River, even if this boat is haunted. Looks like the ramp fell off when we moved. Hmm. That is suspicious. We're going west, so that's got to be the George Washington Bridge. Joey, what do you think of that site? Shame it's so foggy, or we might have had a decent view. Doesn't look foggy at all, Joey. What are you talking about? I can see the bridge in the whole damn city. Although I actually do see some fog up here. But what is it obscuring? Looks like the ramp fell off when we moved. Hey, are you reading the same line that they wrote for Rosa? Looks like the ramp fell off when we moved. You are! Joey, bad Joey. Get unique dialogue, Joey. What's wrong with you? No, I'm just kidding. There's no reason to have unique dialogue for a non-unique situation. Or rather, I should say, for a situation with both in which both characters' personality would not color the way they think of something, there is no reason to have different types of dialogue. That's what I mean to say. Can I turn it back off? What about the business card now? Has it been charged? Oh, damn, I want to see it glow in the dark. Is the ghost under the bed? Hello? Jump, Rosa, not jump. Not sure what the point of that was. Do it again. Not sure what the point of that was. I do. Sleeping on a boat makes my stomach Actually, shrug. I don't. Yeah, that would make me sick. Looks like an air vent that goes into the room above. It's held into place with a few screws. You don't say... Screws? Dime plus crew equals... Aw, oh, yeah. Got it. I'm guessing the door up there is locked, and that's the reason I'm probably going to be going through there. Wait, how will I go through there? I'm not tall enough. Can I just send Joey in? Hmm. Maybe there's a rope up there and I send Joey in and have him blow it down the hole or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Hey, Joey. Looks like I found a ghost. You're going to say spirits, aren't you? <laughs> er, maybe. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend you never said anything. Oh my god, Rosa, that's such a shitty joke. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm back in the mood of this. After last, last game's frustrations, I'm back into this now. Full steam ahead. I'm happy again. Naughty Pine. Should we spank it? There's something funny about this wall. Hmm? Just looks like it has a lot of knots. It's a knot in the wall. Yeah? What was that? Oh, this is a freaking password thing? Hmm. All right. Looks like it was poured and never drank. 
The last time I drank on the job, it didn't end too well. I, I remember that. Me, I'm tempted. Empty. Looks like a cabinet to me. It does to me as well. Astute observation, Rosa. We're getting no closer to shore. Alright, time to try upstairs. And you know what? what? Uh, menu, menu, menu. Here we go. Well, I might as well save while I'm here. Uh, walking speed is actually in the options. So I'm going to turn that up. Maybe even higher. Is it actually going up? It doesn't feel like it. Uh, I can't tell if that's actually gone up, but okay, I assume it has. Outside we go. Yep. Locked. Go, Joey. Float up the stairs. All right, who's there? Somebody's piloting this tub, and it's not me. I knew it. Oh, hi, ghost. Before I look at the ghost, though, I'm going to look at everything before him. Hey, here we go. Wait. What? I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. I can't make... How in the hell am I... Sp Do I need the... Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea. Let me write this down first. Let me diagram it. Two, three, four. I has an idea. J. N. E. S Q U A I've got an idea, but I'm going to come back to that a little bit later. Let me explore the rest of the room first. A bunch of books. None of them look useful. What do you want me to do? Scare it? Yes. Yes, Joey. Blow on it. I'm not it. sure what blowing on that will achieve. I do. Actually, I don't. Map gizmo. Ah, right. Looks like I'm screwing with airborne signals again. Whatever this thing is, it's flickering like mad. Well, that's useless right now. Looks like the driver's seat. That's way too heavy for me to pick up. Then again, so is a pencil. <laughs> hey, chum, how's tricks? What? How did you get here? I just want to... Get off my boat! Get off my boat! Whoa! You dead. My god. <laughs> right. Look, why don't you put that toy down and... Ow! What the hell? That hurt! Get off! Listen. Whoa! Hey, alright, I'm going. Damn, he's angry. Joey, what was that noise? Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Looks like we got a spook after all. And he's packing heat. You mean he's got a gun? Were you shot? Yeah. Sorta. Sorta? What happened? Does it hurt? Stings a lot, yeah. But it's going away now. Good. Okay, so check this I out. I already looked at it. It said Ryan and June. Hmm.
There is a J-U-N-E on that board. But there is no Ryan, so it's got to be June. And that's it. I'm going to click my pen with glee. Good old pen and paper. I like it when a puzzle takes pen and paper. There's something funny. Okay, June. J. U. N. E. Ha <laughs> ha. Holy mula! Will you look at that? There's got to be over a million dollars in there. Oh my god. I know it's tempting, kid, but I say leave that alone. Nobody ever leaves that kind of dough just lying around. Nobody we want to meet anyway. Yeah. Don't worry, Joey. I'm not stupid. It's just, wow, I've never seen so much money. I know, dear. I know. You can look, but don't touch. 